Hello everyone, I am Emil, PhD student in Chemistry and Biochemistry Department, University of Texas at Arlington. In this video, I want to urge you to learn about high-performance liquid chromatography, specifically HPLC uh, system and instrument. This video is useful for both graduate and undergraduate students who take the uh, instrumental analysis course. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, sample preparation for the pre-experiment and how you can run this instrument, purging it and wash your column. Uh, for the beginning, uh, I want to <clears throat> talk about the introduction of the HPLC. HPLC is an acronym for High Performance Liquid Chromatography. The word chromato in graphy is uh, literally mean uh, color writing. HPLC was pioneered by Christian Frederick Skynden, 1799 to 1868, who began moving substances through the filter paper. And also the Russian scientist Mikhail Swet, 1872-1990, who separated plant pigment in the calcium carbonate column. HPLC is separation compounds on a, a stationary phase column. The basic component of the HPLC system consists of one, the mobile phase. This is the solvent that runs continuously through the system and pushes the sample through the column. The solvent is contained in the reservoir located at the higher elevation on the pump in order to maintain positive head pressure on the pump inlet. The solvent filter removes any particle that could potentially damage the system's sensitive components. The second uh, part is autosampler. Autosampler stores sample vials in the temperature control environment and inject the desired sample when instructed by the data system. When the separation needs to be performed, the autosampler switches the valve in order to fill the sample loop with the sample for the analysis, then switches back to the inject sam the sample. Uh, an auto sample allows user to perform multiple sequences of run on HPLC. The third part is a column. Column is a heart of the HPLC. The column is a pack with a stationary phase that separates the sample. A non-polar silica based phase is the most common phase for the reserve uh, reversed. Uh, phase HPLC. The longer column, the higher efficiency and resolution. The shorter column, the faster separation. Also, the larger column diameter, uh, the greater loading capacity, while the narrow column, the greater mass sensitivity. The fourth part is one or more detector in series. The detector received the result of the sample separation from the column and monitored the physical properties which changed as the sample eluted. The, the fifth uh, part is Chromatography Data System, CDS, which translates the signal from detector into a chromatograph spectrum that provides the qualitative and quantitative data about the sample. Um, the next part is how you can uh, how we can purge uh, your uh, uh, instrument. How you can wash your column in the first in the beginning of the experiment and the, in the end of the experiment. And also, maybe uh, you want to um, change your solution. Uh, in this case, you should purge your uh, instrument. So take a uh, 
so take a closer look at how you can uh, purge your HPLC and wash it, wash the color. So we want to try to wash it first and then start the instrument. So the way we attach the column to, to this place over here. So this, this tube comes from the pump. So, and this tube goes to the detector. Uh, so the flow gonna go from this tube to this tube. You have to check the uh, flow on the columns too. Do you see this arrow? So the flow should be this way. Be careful attaching the column in the right way. Take out the caps from the column first. Both sides. Then attach the column to the place. And the output to the detector. And put it in place. Close the door of the oven. Now we are good to start the instrument. So start the pump A, pump B. Also here, the connector, and here the detector. First thing you have to do after this is purging the pump. The instruction for purging the pump is in this sheet. You can use it, but I'm going to describe it here. So first, I'm going to purge the pump A. So A stands for aqueous, which is the water. I will take out the tube from the water reservoir. You can see it's not in the solution. I will open this knob and push the button hurt. Wait for to see some bubbles in the tube. You see the bubble? Now we are fine. We will put this this tube back to the reservoir and wait for this sentence, purging, li purging line, to disappear and the pump goes back to the standard station it was. We do the same thing for the metronome reservoir, meanwhile. You can see the bubbles. Now we are found, we will put it back in the reservoir and wait for the pump to be steady. It's gonna take almost three to five minutes for the pump to do the purging process and then you have to close these knobs and wait for the pressure to increase. So you can see the pump is uh, goes back to the previous station it was so in this step you have to close these knobs and you have to see the pressure increasing 
if you cannot see the pressure increasing, that means you have leakage in your system. Oh, I forgot to say you have to turn on the pumps. See, the pressure increased. Both of them, so we are fine to go. So now. Hello again everyone, as I mentioned in the beginning, I want to talk about the sample preparation for the pre-experiment of the HPLC. For the pre-experiment of the HPLC, you should uh, develop a gradient method, a reverse phase HPLC method for the separation of the uh, four paraben uh, using a C18 uh, column. Uh, these parabens are methyl paraben, uh, propyl paraben, butyl paraben, and uh, 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 ethyl paraben. Uh, before you should know how you can use the uh, balance and how you can uh, trace it. Please record all of the masses that you weighted and also make sure the instrument is on to solve and reservoir are filled and uh, the gas and the, compu the computer is uh, responding record the dimensions the, uh, the make and the model the type of the stationary phase uh, and the type of the packing for the column installed in the chromatograph. Obtain a 10 milliliter stock solution which contain methyl paraben, ethyl paraben, propyl paraben, and butyl paraben, each of the concentration uh, 50 ppm in 50-50 methanol water. Uh, set the flow rate of the column uh, to value uh, that suggested by your TA. The solvent ratio of the mobile phase is to 99% methanol to 1% water and turn the, per the pump on. Set the analysis to time to 8 minutes and the detector wavelength to 254. And also set up the instrument to perform a gradient solvent program separation method. Start with the, an initial uh, mobile phase. Uh, this is the mo your mobile phase, methanol and water. Uh, this is necessary uh, for you to know that um, both methanol and water that you use in the HPLC should be um, uh, HPLC grade uh, uh, methanol and water. Uh, in the continue, the initial mobile phase composition uh, uh, of 50-50 methanol water uh, a hold at that composition for one minute and increase to 90-90 per one uh, methanol water in six minutes and a one minute hold at the final composition inject the 50 uh, ppm mixture and uh, record the chromatogram, modify the solvent gradient to create the method for the baseline separation. As you know, resolution should high should be higher than 1.5 of all components in a, a time faster than your best in isocratic separation. In your pre-experiment, it is necessary to report and calculate the capacity factor for each compound and the selectivity and resolution for each, uh, each pair of the compounds. Another important thing uh, is how you can how you can uh, access to your data in the uh, computer in the lab if I click on uh, lab solution uh, icon by double click on it you have access to your data click on OK uh, HPLC click on HPLC and click on file data and choose 4461 um, folder Find your section, for example, section 3, 
find your group number group three for example in this uh, screen you can find the new wash uh, and the washing method or your isocratic uh, method or gradient method uh, and also you can uh, set your uh, washing method uh, by time and choose your pump 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 B for example and another important thing to wash your column is uh, uh, you can you should choose Y number uh, minus one and uh, tray empty and in injection volume six uh, microliter for uh, washing your column. In the end, I want to thank uh, Dr. Shok, Dr. Roy, and our uh, uh, TA, uh, Rahul. Have a great time.